Okay, anyone who watched the first video knows that the light engine I ordered from Amazon last time, or eBay, I forget, I think it was Amazon. It came with one of these AC adapters that you can use. You can plug one end into the light engine and plug the other end into a wall socket or wall plug or whatever. And it also came with a lighter, uh, an auto lighter plug that you can use. And that's what I had been using up until this point. But I don't want to cut that one and hardwire it to the fuse box yet. So I think since I'll never use this right here, I'd actually rather cut this one and hardwire this cord to the light engine. I mean, the light engine to the fuse box, just in case I ever mess up the other one. I wouldn't want to like do this project on the other one and mess it up and now I have nothing. So I'm going to start off by cutting this one. And that way, if I mess this one up, see, I'm using my little nippers I got here. I'm going to cut this one in half, just like that. I'm going to slide it. Let me see if I can pick these up. Pick these up a little bit. I'm using a tripod this time. So what you do is basically, if you've ever used one of these or not, you get a little bit of your wire, you slip it into that little notch right there. And then you squeeze the grips and they grip onto the wire and they pull just like that. So now we have two right here. One is white, one is black. I'm only gonna, I'm gonna have to assume, I guess that white is power. White is white and black is ground but i'll look that up i was hoping it would be like a red and black but white and black will do that's fine enough and then and then what we're going to do from these two here is we're going to want to strip these wires too white one well here let me get this let me get a little bit more of this right here perfect Okay, so I left enough room here. We got white and black. I'm going to assume that black is the ground. And then we're going to want to strip the white. And we're going to want to strip some of the black. Perfect. Then I'm just going to wrap these around. I see it, Kai. Okay. okay, now my son's here, Mason. He's the one that clipped my last string. And this is Kai, the little one that was in the car in the last okay, video so a what year are we ago. Doing? So on this one, we have already clipped. We've already stripped these two wires. Okay. You can see there's copper showing. Yeah. We have white and we have black. And I'm going to assume the black is the ground. White is the power. So now the only thing left to do is... I'm gonna plug yeah, this okay. end. I'm gonna plug this end into the light engine, and I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna write I'm gonna run this one through the car to the fuse box. Okay. And that's what we're gonna do next. Okay. All right. The first step that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look up your own car's um, either instruction manual or whatever you got for your car. You're gonna find wherever your fuse box is for your lighter outlet. And so that's what I did. I already know where mine is. So mine is under here in the passenger area. I'm gonna remove this floor mat. Right under here is where mine is. Some of you may have it on the driver's side, but mine personally is down under here. And what I do is I remove the floor yeah. mat. It exposes this little box right here, and you just pull the little tab, and it opens up. There it is. And in my little box, there's a little paper here that will show you exactly which fuse to get. All right, opened up my fuse manual and it shows two different boxes here. 
One of them is the box that is down here. Now, one of these other boxes, I think this one here is probably the one that's in the engine bay, engine compartment area. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to find, you want to find the fuse. You want to try to find one of these fuses that lines up here with this chart. And the way you do that is you turn it over and it'll tell you here all the different fuses. It comes in different languages, but it'll say airbag and it'll tell you what fuse they are, 31, 101. And we're looking for the one that is for the lighter. Now let's see, where's the English one? Where's the English one? Oh, right here. Here's the English one. We're looking for the lighter glove box light lamps lamps radio systems front seat here's one socket load compartment hold on find it real quick. all right i found it it is right here cigar lighter socket front number 72 you turn around and now you're looking for number 72 so on the left side you'll see it says 72 is going to be a 25a dang my nails need to be cut uh 72 is going to be 25a and it's going to be right here next to it's going to be 25 25 right next to a 30 and a 30 so 25 25 it'll be one of those and I know it's in here because I've already checked in here before. And I believe you can actually, hold on, let me get this. It's kind of a tight squeeze. But in here, you can kind of see that there are some numbers next to the fuses. Although it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see there's like a number there, a number there. Hard to get it to focus. But let me find this fuse real quick and i will get back to you i, I feel like it's going to be this white one here but let me look I'm gonna give it a couple seconds in case we need to edit the video and chop that first half off okay so everyone's been asking me how my car is wired right now and right here uh, i have the light engine here as i showed in the last video it's just plugged in literally just plugged in like that in my trunk area and you can see it runs right back back in here i actually slid it in between both seats i slid it between both seats and if you come back around over here on this side you, go on that side you can see where it actually comes out over here it actually comes out from in between the seats it, it um goes right here and it goes right into the back seat lighter socket and that's how i've had it wired this entire time which is a good way to do it i never have people in the back seat so i never have to worry about that but we're gonna hardwire it today so the first step is gonna be we gotta figure out where we're gonna run this wire um if you don't want it to show right off the bat i'm thinking I don't know, maybe I could bring it down under here in this little area right here. Because what's under here? Let's find out. Let's see, I might be able to hide the wire down in there in this little compartment here. Where the generator is, I guess? The engine? I don't know. No, this is where a spare tire would go. Oh, okay. I think that's a little air pump. I never use it though. So first step is to figure out where we're going to run the wire. I'm thinking I can bring it in behind behind one of the seats. Maybe move it behind one of the seats back in there. Over here. Stop stressing my mind! Okay, shh. Don't yell, we're recording. We can bring it in through here, tuck it underneath, Dad, tuck it underneath here, Dad, stop sticking underneath this mind. trimming right here, oh, all the way to the front seat. And we'll stay with the trimming right here. 
and we can stay with it underneath the trim right here tucking it underneath until it comes out over here at the fuse box where we will get it now i already determined i have to test it but this where is it at where are you at that one right there number 25 right here this is for the lighter and the socket in the front seat area so if i replace this fuse that should be the one that can power the lights. So we're gonna find out right now. Okay, you can stop. Okay. All right, am I liking the camera? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the way I'm gonna test to see if that number 25 is the right one that we need to pull is I have a little fuse puller tool here. I'm gonna remove the number 25 fuse I'm going to turn on the car and if the stars do not turn on then I know that is the correct fuse because right now like I said they are plugged into the back lighter socket. So if I pull the fuse and they don't turn on then we know that that's the fuse we need to be on. Okay, let's... okay. so what I am going to do if you got your camera focused on it you can get it on there real good. Okay so I need to pull this, but I also need to, if you can see, get in a little closer here. Right there, there's a little pin, the little plastic pin right here. I need to push that pin up. At the same time, I pull this. Hey, Clyde, can you wait? Got it. There, we got it. Okay, okay we're back. Mm -hmm. You recording? Um, yeah. Okay, which camera is the one? Okay, all right, everyone. So right now they're not on, and yeah, they're just those little white dots. Get back there. And, right. and we'll start the car and see if they turn on. And if they do, I guess it's working. Exactly. So we're going to start the car, and if they turn on, then that was the wrong fuse. All right, so here we go. Okay. So that was the wrong fuse. Right that was definitely See, the guys, wrong fuse. it's on, and now they're blinking lights that are on. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back uh, and look again. They're just dots. Back to the drawing board. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to install this fuse again. So that's how that works. Um, we're gonna put 25 back in, and Good. we'll see the other fuses and see if those work. Well. We're gonna try pushing, pushing this down. in and let's see if it pops out and if it pops out hot. Because last time I used this to show my son that how these things work and it was working and it did light up hot. I'm gonna throw my fuel. Yeah. Okay. There was just a problem and for some reason it just stopped recording, but we're back. Yeah, let's see if it pops out. probably was this one because it hasn't popped out it hasn't popped out last time it popped out by now i was just curious what that thing was because you put it in there and, my and i have my hand right here oh, it's going so hot it was probably this one so we're it's gonna try weird. number we're gonna try number 70. yeah and keep them still so we pulled number Everybody 72 job, job. 72 which was if you can see uh let me pull out 72 was the what cigar is lighter socket front and we're gonna now pull number 70 which is central console socket it's just like one above 72. yep so we're gonna pull that one next i'm gonna put in number 72 first and then we're gonna go back to removing number 70 and we'll see if that works uh -huh. trial and error all right everyone i was looking through this and i found i found one that i wouldn't have thought of all right, right here it says socket socket load compartment number 71 so down here we remove number we remove number 25 that was 72 uh that's 71 and that's 70 right there and i believe that's the one we need to remove um let me see though real quick where'd it go 
Okay, socket load compartment. No, not that one. Not socket load compartment. So that would be for the trunk if we had a trunk uh, socket. And if there's one there, I haven't seen it. But we're going to do number 70, which is right here. Central console. Hold on. Central console socket, number 70. And that will be number 71. Oh, 72? 71, yeah. 70. So I'm going to remove this one. And that one should be the one we need to stop the lights. Okay, okay so we're going to grab it. We're going to push this little plastic pin up and pull at the same time. And that'll allow us to get this 25 fuse out. Okay, so that's a good sign. Alright, so now we know the fuse we need to tap into. And this little lighter should pop up now that I put that. Yep, there it goes. It just popped out. That was the one we removed the last time. There it goes. It's, it's hot. It's hot, okay. It might be hot. Yeah. Alright, cool. So now we know what fuse we need to tap into. Alright, I want you to notice this down here. That is a spot where I might potentially put my ground wire at. Or this one down over here on this side. I might put my ground wire right there. I might remove that bolt, put my ground wire right there, and then, um, yeah, basically that's it. Come out. Okay, everyone, I found a, I found a screw down in here that I'm gonna use for my ground, right over here by the tail light. So I'm gonna have the light engine right here, and I'm going to, Put the black ground right here. Then I'm gonna run my red wire, which is right here. I have 25 foot of this. So I just have it tied here. It's really gonna be longer, but I have it tied here just as a point of reference. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of hold this wire here. Uh, it's gonna be tucked in behind all of this, but just for right now, while I'm doing this, I'm doing it real quick. I'm kind of just, guiding it through here and what I'm gonna do now is see I have it all the way over here to this end mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fold that seat oh I can't fold the seat down because this car seats there but here oh, I'll yeah. show you come around this side all right so I'm gonna pull this back seat down okay, give them a point of reference so they can see all right they see that the back seat's down and then the cords I'm pull this cord through here, uh, all the way out. And I know I'm going to be running it along down here on the side, along the very bottom trim right here. We're going to run it to the front seat. So I'm feeding it out to the front seat. Of course, I want to leave a little bit of slack. You know, I'd rather have more room than not enough string. And it's pretty much going to run along the side trim right here and into the fuse box. Okay, so next is we're going to start tucking it in. You can stop that. All right, everyone, I'm going to be down here. I've removed this right here. I've removed this. And if you look down in there, you can see the fiber optics are also running down in there. These are the fiber optics. The right white here. tubes? Yep, and they're coming out right here. Guys! They're coming out right here. Here it is. Here. They're coming out right here. The fiber optics are coming out right here. And that's exactly where I intend to have this red wire come out too. So, I have the red wire back over here I'm gonna lead I'm gonna feed it up through this right here Guys, give me a mask. Hold on, okay. the fiber off 
So I'm feeding it in through here. I want to be very careful with the red, with the black felt liner. You'll see the wire back there. Yeah, later I'll have to remove, pull down this second seat so that way. Okay, and I got the red wire back in there. Okay, I showed everybody like a little thing. Like now I got the red wire right here. Right here. And I'm gonna open up this little trap door that I have right here on the side. And I'm basically gonna like stick my hand in there and try to feed the wire to myself. That's a tight squeeze. Okay. Get on over here. Alright, so we have the red wire coming out through here where the fiber optics are. Yep, and it came in through. And we have it up yeah. over here. Yeah. It came in through there. Now I'm gonna clip this with a little plastic clip. I'm gonna clip this right back in here again. That'll hold that up. Okay. And we'll be back whenever we do that. Okay. All right, so as you can see. It's down there. We have the red wire right here coming out from the trunk. It's coming all the way down here. Make sure to put the camera down. All the way down here, it goes, it's going underneath this little flapper, this little flapper right here going all along all along to the other side where it's going to go back that way along the, uh, the seats all right now let's pull the seat back up and aim it at these things here i don't know nice okay tell me when you're going i'm going all right so i stripped out a little bit extra on this one here because it was getting thin up here so i have to strip down more wire this is gonna be our hot wire. This is gonna be our ground. I have these little heat shrinking uh, tubing for electrical tape. It's kind of like electrical tape that shrinks. This is the wire that we're running. Kai, get over here. This is the wire that we're running to the front, to the fuse. So I'm gonna slip this little rubber tube over this red line. I'm just gonna keep it back here. Can you see it? Okay. Then I'm gonna get this right here. This, uh, the white one that we're gonna use for hot. And I'm just gonna wrap this copper wire all the way around here, making sure that it has a really good connection. And I'm gonna wrap all this extra around it, just like that. Kai, what did you throw, a rock? Hey, don't throw rocks, Kai. I need to be careful with all the shouting in the video. Okay, it could all be edited out though. All right, so I have it connected like that. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? You got a good close up on it? Yeah. And all I got to do with this tube now is... Do I got a lighter or something? I have one. So you just put it over there just like that. And then uh, I should have a lighter here somewhere. One second. Here, I have it right here. You don't want to put this flame, you don't want to put this flame completely over it. That's not the point. You're just supposed to heat it up. You don't want to burn it. So, there it goes. You can see it's shrinking a little bit. Once it gets heat, it'll start to activate. It'll start to shrivel up and shrink a little bit. Kai, get away. See you guys. I'll let that shrink up a little bit. See how that shrinks, guys? It tightens up around the two wires. That way there won't be any loose slack. Of course, you want to make sure not to burn the wires. You just want to heat only the black part. The rubber part. There's another thing that came It's off. very sensitive to heat. Can I stop it? I'm gonna roll it around this way so I can heat up the back side now. Okay. One, two, three. I'm also waiting because this lighter's hot. <laughs> I don't wanna burn my fingers. So now I'm heating up this back side. Get it nice and tight. It'll get nice and form fitted on the on See the you guys have a shrink. Hot. nice and tight i might just do this a little bit like a couple more times but i mean i already trust it the way it is right now but i'm gonna do it maybe a couple more times 
for a few more seconds. Okay, stop that. Obviously, if you have a heat gun, you can use a heat gun. But be careful with it. If you have a blow dryer, use a blow dryer. I'm using a lighter because it's simpler for me, but... Use whatever y'all want to use for heat. Yeah, so that's tight enough. I think that's good. And I'll see you guys. And so there it is. It shrank a into shrink, that tiny little size. And now they're connected. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. They ain't going anywhere. Okay, so that's that. Now, I was gonna touch this black one here. You can stop it. Okay. All right, everyone. So basically, this this little copper wire on the ground, I'm gonna slide it into one of these. But the thing is, it's so thin that it won't really crimp on there. It's so thin, it's gonna be hard to crimp it. So what I'm gonna do is fold this back on itself to so make it. A little thicker. Be careful. And hopefully folding it back on itself will make this wire a little thicker and allow it to be crimped on there a little better. And always be careful while doing this. Right, Dad? Of course. Make sure nothing's plugged in and the car is off, so at least it's something's plugged right. Don't touch the lenses. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I made the copper a little thicker. I folded it on itself. I'm going to attempt to crimp it on there using my tool. It's also a crimper. I just discovered that. And so I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna try my best to crimp on it. Let's see here. Squish it on there. Get on there. The blue part is between the the handle of this in one of the settings, right? The crimper. Yeah. Insular. That means pretty much it pinches it tight. Let's see if that worked. Oh, it's still loose. I don't like that. You recording? Uh -huh. All right, so I realized I'm going to need a little thicker wire. So I'm, I am going to have to use this black wire. I didn't want to use it, but I'm going to have to use it. Ah. Okay, so I just need a little bit of wire, maybe. This is probably good enough for I did a little longer. About this much. That should be good. Nice little strand of wire. I'm gonna crimp one end. I'm gonna crimp the, I mean, I'm gonna splice one end, splice the other end. Of course, you wanna fold it, make sure it's nice and good like that. This end. There's a glass standing up. All right, so we got two good ends, just like that. You can see. Can one end. Them again? Yep, I twisted them. There's like the other ones. Then I'm gonna grab. I think it was these blue ones here. Might not be these. Yeah, I guess it is these. Let me make sure. Let me make sure this is the size. Yep, this is the size. Basically, I'm gonna get one end of this. This is a thicker wire, so it should crimp pretty good. Maybe I'll even fold it. Let's see if it'll work folded. All right, so I folded it on itself. I'm gonna slide this into here. It's gonna be nice and tight now. Come on, get on there, get on there. Push it through, force it through.
don't know. I can try to crimp it. Let's see if it'll work like that. Try it. All right. Um, that's on there good. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Perfect. That's a ground wire. And I'm thinking just to stop this end from being exposed wire, I might just put one of these on there too. Come here, Kai. Is he in the car? Yeah. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is right back in... What is that? Oh, no, no, not right there. I'm sorry. Right down in here. Right, there. Uh, right in there. I went ahead and ran the black wire. And I, bolt, I removed that screw and I put it right there where that screw is. So it's bolted down as a ground. So pretty much it runs from right down there. Back around here. I connected it with a piece of heat shrinking rubber here into the black wire, which is gonna connect into the box, the light engine. Then I got the white wire, which I'm hoping the white wire is the power source. No, it's not focusing. And I got the white wire and I used some of the heat shrinking rubber and attached it to the red wire, which is going right back under here right behind these seats all the way back over there and I ran it right back here you can kind of see from the behind the seat and I tucked it in underneath here is that some no, I'm gonna tuck that in I'm gonna get a screwdriver and tuck that in there we go tucked it in underneath here underneath here all the way over there to the front seat Continue on here, tucked it in under here, under here, under here, and it's coming out right there. And if you remember, we took the fuse off of number 70, I believe it was. So it's like this one right here, this first red one, I believe it is. That's where we're gonna stick our out of circuit or out of fuse. So that's what we got coming up next. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have enough red wire to make it there. I'm gonna always play it safe. I'm gonna add a little extra red wire than I need. So I'm gonna cut it, even though I could reach all the way over here, I don't need all that. I'm gonna cut it like right here somewhere. And that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so that brings us to the add a circuit that we're gonna connect to our fuse box. So generally, I remove, all right, so I remove this all right. all right, I removed this 25 amp fuse from the car. So I'm gonna put that one on the bottom slot that's going to the car. Okay. And then here's another 25 amp fuse you never want the this one's gonna go connected to the top half this part right here is the fuse for anything that you connect to this red wire you never want the fuse that's gonna be here to be higher than this fuse like you never want to have a 25 here and a 30 here so equal to or less than at least that's my understanding so I'm gonna slide this in and I could be wrong on that, but I'm about to trial and error. All right, so equal fuses. I got 225s on it. Now this part right here is gonna go connected on slot 70, I believe it was. And this part here is gonna run and connect to the red wire that I have already over there. And just in case, I'm gonna make sure I take some of these uh, or one of these little heat shrieking tapes with my lighter. Hopefully once I connect this, before I do connect it permanently, I will test it out first. I'll make sure to disconnect it um, from here. 
Let's see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, right here. Right here. I made sure to disconnect this from the light engine. So we're going to test this out. All right. So before we start, I have my tape here. I'm going to make sure to put my tape on this red wire. It's always hard to film. I have a tripod here, but it doesn't make it any easier. I had my son helping me earlier. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide this in there. Scoot it all the way back, just like that. Okay, so I'm just keep that back here just for standby. Then I will be in that metal part right there. I'll be sliding this in there and then crimping it the best that I can. Get it in as deep as I can. So many mosquitoes out here. All right, so I have it in there. Now I just need to crimp it. Uh, hopefully this works. Hope it doesn't mess up. Oh, it fell out. All right, I went ahead and crimped it on there. I crimped it nice and tight. Now I'm gonna get this black rubber, slide it over the exposed wire, put it hopefully over this blue part too, and heat it up so it gets nice and tight, and then I'll plug this fuse in. All right, I went ahead and plugged it in right here to number 70. And you see the fuses over here sticking off to the side. I put the heat shrink wrap down here, if I can get it. There it is, the heat shrink wrap is right there. So that way there's no exposed wires. I have the fuse tap, am I able to pull it out? Yeah, here it is, yeah, I'll just do it for you. So there's the fuse tap with the 225s. I'm gonna put it right here on the first fuse slot. There is right here, this first one. And just put it and push it in and it fits nice and snug. There it goes. Now I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, we're recording now. We got Mason, Kai. We just hooked, we just hooked up the red. What did you do here? We press something up here on the top. All right, we're gonna turn on the car and we're gonna turn on the car and see if it starts, if it lights up when the car turns on. Oh, it worked. It worked perfectly. So that's how you do it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, wow. Well, awesome. Hopefully y'all can try this at home and also be careful. Definitely be careful, especially with these fuses. Yep. Um, that can be dangerous. All right. Now it's just uh, putting back everything, yeah, all, the, so all the panel trims and everything, putting it all back and then um, you're good to go. Wire. I already hid the wire actually. Oh. While you were running around, I hit it. Well, when you were not recording at that moment. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna go back the other way, guys. All right, it started getting dark on us, but all right, basically, last thing I'm gonna do, we got our fuse connected. I crimped it on here real good. This isn't going anywhere. And just to make sure I'm double checking my work. I have this no exposed metal anywhere on here. That's what I'm double checking. Ah, look, there's a little bit right there. Anyway, so I'm gonna put, pack this in real good. Make sure it's not gonna, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'll put this lid back on here. I'm gonna fold this, fold this back up and it should be good to go. Okay, so I went ahead and I put this little plastic, this little uh, felt flat back on. I have these cords here, red and black. No wires exposed, of course. Want to make sure there's no wires exposed. I'm tucking them back here. It still makes me nervous to do something like this, but I'm gonna tuck them back in here so that way they're not seen. Keep this little guy right here. Move all this junk out of here, out of the way. So he's tucked in there. 
And now I'm going to, hold on, let me see this. Let me set this up. Okay, now I just need to, There we go. So we have that there, light engine here. The light engine is, uh, has a power running back in there. And as I said, it's running all the way back under there, all along the side of the car and into the front.